Our fun things we had along the trip and was really a uh, unique component to the expedition was this this manta trawl uh, for sampling surface plastics that our friends at the Plastic Ocean Project in out of Wilmington, North Carolina uh, built for us. And it was awesome. I mean, it was so cool to be able to put it out and um, it was very conveniently um, situated on our board. We were able to throw it out and just start trawling quickly. Doing our first full length trawl right now, about a half mile into it. It's going super well. And really excited to get some get some actual data out here. I'm here in this little embayment, about to take our second water sample for environmental for adventures and scientists for conservation to be examined for microplastics. So you can see there's a lot of plastic visible on the surface caught up in the sargassum weed and we want to see if there's a correlation between this visible plastic and microplastics in the water. So I've got my sample filling up here we've got a glass bottle that we found on the beach that we're going to reuse because we didn't think it made sense to, to bring extra bottles down here when we're finding so many on the beach. So here we are, I'm going to take the cap, it's got foil so that we don't contaminate the sample. And I'm going to screw it on tight underwater. Now we just need to tag this and we're good to go. So one of the motivating things to look at the, the health of the Sargasso Sea is to look at the things that we know are challenging of the animals that are, that are found in the Sargasso Sea, from the fishes to the smallest invertebrates. This is a very special habitat for us and we need to know how much of a threat this is. It's ugly, it ends up on our shoreline, we can pick it up, but what's the ecological impact of this plastic uh, in our inshore waters and our offshore reefs? So this is an example of part of a sample collected at one of our beaches earlier this year. And you can see a lot of very identifiable objects that we can find along the shoreline. This is just along 25 meters of shoreline, about uh, 60 feet or so. One of the biggest reasons we chose Bermuda um, is, you know, there's no better way to uh, to get people's attention by contrasting, you know, this, this trash, this plastic that, you know, we as a community have done, and this beautiful place, you know, it's like, what are we doing, why have we done this? 